time, bruh. Hey guys, it's Chris from Do You Even Game Bro. Today, you're bringing you the Ubisoft E3 2016 a wrap up. Uh, now, the first thing I've got to say is Ubisoft never, ever do a Just Dance start again. It was bloody horrible. Nobody liked it. It was goddamn creepy, and they ruined a great Queen song. Please, never do that. Let that game die. Nobody likes it. Right, now with the rant over, guys. Uh, for those who did watch it, let me know what you thought. I just sat there and I was bored of crap. Um, never been a fan of the Just Dance series. Didn't even realise it was a series. I literally thought it was one game that came out. Hello, but yeah, I feel like they could have opened a lot stronger than what they did. Uh, like usual, for Ubisoft, they had uh, Aisha Tyler. I hope I pronounced the name correctly, uh, come out and do her presentation. This is her fifth year in a row, so a massive uh, well done to her for obviously keep doing on uh, keep on doing what she's doing. She's uh, obviously loves working for Ubisoft and doing this presentation every year, so uh, good on her. Um, she is a good host as well, so that's uh, nice. Um, you know, she seems to connect well with the guys that she's uh, working with. Now, into the actual presentation itself. They jumped straight in, guns blazing, with... Um, Wildlands. So that is the new Tom Clancy game. Uh, not only did they show us the trailer, they then also dropped in some gameplay. This game looks absolutely incredible. It isn't due out until 2017, uh, so we are going to have to wait for it just that little bit longer than most of the games that are being shown at this presentation. But the wait looks worth it. It was absolutely fantastic. The game looks absolutely stunning. Um, I cannot wait to get my hands on that. They've also got quite a few different collector's editions that are out there as well. Uh, the only annoying thing is that some of them are actually region zone. So I believe over here for Australia we get the Fallen Angel statue, whereas over in Europe or it's the USA, I'm not 100% sure which one it is, it's a, um, it's a skull with a headphone set. Uh, I was kind of hoping to pick that one up as well, but unfortunately it's not going to be available over here. Uh, they then jumped into probably the uh, game that I am most looking forward to so far, which is the new South Park game, The Fractured But Whole. So this one picks up directly after The Stick of Truth. And for those who haven't played it, get around that. That game is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Uh, they showed off some more gameplay uh, for that. Got Matt Stone and Trey Parker on to have a bit of a chat about it and what they were, you know, how they were involved. Dude, what the fuck? Who let this ordinary citizen into the cute lair? Uh, listen, bro, we are all superheroes and you aren't, so you can't hang out with us. Please do us all a solid and fuck up. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Do not touch that! That device can blow up the entire Milky Way galaxy! Jesus, fuck! Mom! The new kid is trying to play with the cube of ultimate destruction! You be nice to all your friends, Eric. Be a good share. Good sharer and above the fucking galaxies! Stupid bitch! Look, dude, we already told you, you can't play. You aren't a superhero. You don't have a costume. You don't have any superpowers. Freedom Pals are adding people to their franchise. We should be adding people to ours. This dork? Like, wearing a little crown? Does this look like a superhero to you? <sighs> all right, all right, have a seat, douchebag. <clears throat> Not there. That's Mysterion's seat. Not there either, stupid. All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. And that, the entire time they were playing it, it was just a positive atmosphere, like, you know, it, they create jokes, you know, the gameplay had jokes and stuff like that, and it was just, true South Park, you know, the South Park that everybody loves. Um, so definitely uh, keen for that game. Instead of it being uh, witches and wizards, it's uh, now moved into a superhero theme. So yeah, definitely I'll uh, be picking that up when that comes out. I've already pre-ordered the special edition with Cartman as the Coon, a uh, little mini figurine. Uh, they've done the same thing and they also have another figurine as well, so they have two of them available. Uh, check obviously with your local uh, retailer about which one it is for you guys. They then announced some Division DLC um, coming, I believe, on the 28th actually. So it's not even that far away. It's only a, it's only a, about a week now. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, not too bad at all. 
they then showed off uh, a couple of VR games that I was not aware of, but I'm absolutely super keen for. They showed uh, Eagle Flight, which is uh, the game mode. I'm not too sure if it's the only game mode, but it was uh, Capture the Flag, really. And it looks absolutely brilliant. I was sat there with a cheeky smile on my face the entire time, like, I want to play this game. It looks absolutely basic, but it looks fantastic at the same time. Uh, they then showed Star Trek in VR, and, and Ubisoft went all out and actually got some of the cast from the original and from the new Star Trek movies to actually sort of pilot that and show them all, and you're all on, the, uh, on one of the USS ships uh, piloting and playing the game really so that was uh, interesting to see they then brought on um oh, I forgot his name now they then brought on somebody to talk about it and what the game was about and sort of how to get everyone involved uh they then showed uh more of for honor now once again another 2017 release uh this one's actually on valentine's day um it would appear that there's three different types of classes that you can play there's a samurai a viking and a knight. They did show off some of the Viking gameplay. Um, and yeah, definitely keen for that. It does seem a little bit similar to uh, uh, Rise of. Sorry, the Rome, uh, Rise of Sun game uh, that originally came out with the Xbox One, except it looks better. Uh, it looks like what that game should have been done right. So I'm definitely interested in For Honor. Um, if you guys haven't seen any of these gameplay trailers or anything like that, definitely check them out uh, especially if you were dubious because you will get a very good idea of what these games are going to offer from e from uh, from from the e3 videos uh, the thing with Ubisoft is they didn't actually show that much but the stuff that they did show they spent a lot of time they spent a lot of time dealing with so uh, for instance I think it was maybe about 10 to 15 segments that they had it was almost a two and a half hour show um so that sort of gives you an idea of it was literally five to fifteen minutes for each for each part that they were showing so a lot of detail went into their presentation um and they definitely broke down what it is that you were actually getting um so after for honor they then went and showed the brand new assassin's creed movie as we are not getting a brand new assassin's creed game this year which is uh, the first time this is happening in a few years so uh, obviously Michael Fassbender is the lead actor. Um, I am personally excited for this movie. I am personally excited for this movie. It does look like it is not based off any of the games, which makes it a lot easier in telling a story, especially in the Assassin's Creed universe, because it isn't going to be directly affected by what the characters did in the game. Um, so yeah, I'm quite interested in that. I believe that is due for an October or November release. Uh, it's got a good cast, it looks like it has a good story. The guys at Ubisoft are super keen for it. Um, they then also announced that there may be that they are working on a Watch Dogs movie as well. We'll see what that's gonna what, what comes of Assassin's Creed first and then obviously we'll move into future developments for them if it works out really well. Uh, for our next game protected if democracy thrives. The corporate interests are rigging the elections. Your elections. Your favorite social media giant, Invite, knows everything about you. And they're manipulating your feed to tailor your opinion to their interests. They are fooling you into voting for their puppet, Congressman Mark Russ. Invite wields the single most powerful population control tool ever created. Defend democracy. Help us tear down info. Lend us your processing power by downloading our app and together we will expose Congressman Thrust. Join us. We are dead sick. Showed some gameplay off for Watch Dogs 2. Um, now I personally did go into the hype of the first one. It wasn't as good, obviously, in that people had, did have massive problems with the first one. I still enjoyed it. The second one looks fantastic. Um, I know people that were, you know, really pissed off with the original Watch Dogs have watched this and said that they will give it a chance because it looks like what the first one should have been. Uh, they've played around with it a little bit more. It's not as basic in regards to what you can and can't do. 
and they've just sort of opened up the world really it is obviously based in San Fran and you are joining DeadSec so very interested to see that when that releases they then showed a brand new release for a game called Steep now the first thing I will say about this is God Ubisoft are twisted because every time that they showed a video somebody was always getting hurt they dropped different gameplay for it uh, skydiving um, base jumping that sort of stuff uh, on the video and it's based off the uh, French Alps being able to do a lot of, a lot of different sports um, the best way I can probably describe it for the old schoolers is it kind of reminded me of SSX Tricky um, in the regards of you do sort of jumps and stunts and that sort of stuff um, but it looks like it's new gen and obviously it's bit, it's going to be better than that but it looked absolutely phenomenal uh, they are extremely excited for it um, and they should be too it does it does look like a game that is definitely going to get people uh, you know excited especially for it's something different as well it's not something that we've seen in quite a while um, you know like a, a really good skateboarding skiing um, uh, style of game so I'm quite I am uh, definitely gonna pre-order that one and pick it up uh, I believe they also have a alpha and a beta uh, that you can sign up for through their website and that is uh, due to come out very shortly so if you guys do want to get an idea of what it is that this game is going to be definitely check that out uh, other than that as I said Ubisoft was it was a long presentation but they didn't show off too much the stuff that they showed off though was fantastic um, apart from Just Dance, not interested in that at all. But other than that, the rest of the presentation was fantastic. It was all, uh, it was not a lot of games, but it was big games. So uh, definitely appreciate the time that they put into it. As I said, if there's anything that you guys do want to check out from E3, go to check out the hub page on Do You Even Game Bro? And uh, yeah, we've got plenty of uh, details about Ubisoft's presentation there. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.